Welcome, my viewers and my listeners, to the program of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Miner, and I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity and thank God for you, for the time you take to listen, to watch, and even to say the word of encouragement. I know sometimes I, 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 sometimes I can hardly catch up, but, uh, you know, with all the overwhelming encouragement from you guys, but I want to tell you there is no word that you said of encouragement that just get wasted. Those words of encouragement keep me going. Just like I always say that life is like pedals of a bicycle. One pedal has to be up, another one has to be down. So let us continue holding each other. And that's why I'm coming to you. And I have a message for you today. And the message is being careful and not fearful. We should be careful and not fearful. Note the difference. And my words of reference will be from the book of First Peter chapter 5. And I'm going to be reading from verse 6 from New King James Fashion. And before I do that, we are going to start with prayers. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. I do not take it for granted. Thank you that I'm breathing. I'm able to speak, oh God. I have the ears and the eyes and the mouth. Oh God Almighty, there are some things we take for granted. But I thank you, dear Father, because it has taken your grace. I honor you and I magnify you. Now as I share your word, may you use me as a vessel. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet that I may minister that, that anointing and the protection of the blood that speaketh better things that blood of Jesus Christ that was said on the cross of Calvary I thank you, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God and, and, and may the and the viewers and the listeners' hearts be like that good soil that will receive your word and bring forth the fruit of encouragement O Lord and equipping and preparation for your second coming. And I come against every, against every spirit that comes to bring destruction and wastage of time. Even for this technology and the gadgets, I commit them to you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This is what the word of God says. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that he may exhort you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because you are adversary. The devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may defer. Verse 9, resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same uh, sufferings are experienced by your, brothers, by, by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. I read up to verse 11. Again, it was verse 6 to 11 in Jesus' name. Now, we must be careful and not fearful. Even though the devil was like a lion, we must be courageous to know the lion of Judah lives in us. And there's one pastor, I, every time I sing this song, I always remember her, our oh, senior pastor of JCC Twin Series, Pastor Rora Gideji. He always, there are times we would go to an overnight meeting and he would lead us in this song. I always remember her. Um, the Ryan of Judah has broken every chain, has given me power, hallelujah, day by day. The Lion of Judah has broken every chain, has given me power, hallelujah, day by day. Hallelujah, day by day, hallelujah, day by day. And you can also say, hallelujah, month by month, hallelujah, hour by hour, hallelujah, second by second. Even though the devil roars like a lion, my brother and my sister, it is important we know that we are under the commander-in-chief, Jesus Christ. He overcame death. What else can he overcome? Whatever you could be going through, be filled with the praises and worship to his holy name. And, you know, one of the weapons to overcome when you are overtaken by so many things in your life is to worship God and to remember what he has done for you. 
In actual fact, there is a song that God gave me. It is very new. Actually, it has not, I have not even released the video and I know it will be coming soon. Uh, it's the just audio. And I know if you listen well to the word, there will be a blessing to you that we receive all the glory. Oh God, when you know that God is in charge, you cannot fear. And that's why I would encourage you, my viewer and my listener, to get yourself a copy of Fear Not God is in Charge. You may ask me, woman of God, where can I get it? Send me your address. I have so many from the book round, which I was not able to keep up because my dad passed the same day. But I want to thank God that I'm still not fearing because God is still in charge and nothing will remove him from his throne. His grace will be sufficient for us, even as the word here has said. But may the good, may the God of all grace who called us to his internal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, established, strengthen and settle you yeah we are gonna be strengthened we are gonna be perfected because god called us and by his grace i've also sung about grace you can get that one on youtube but for now i want us to be encouraged by this song you have to develop a way of how to overcome discouragement when they come when you know that the lord is on the throne you can tell him i'm okay i gather sure that in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Let's see. That is to lift the name of the Lord. God has given you the breath of life. You can lift him up. of the Lord high because he has overtaken us with his joy and his love and life. Why? 
agenda is to make us so fearful until we are not able to accomplish the assignment that God has given us. It is my prayer, my brother, my sister, that you will not be overtaken by fear and you mistake with being careful. We are careful, careful to trust the Lord. We are careful to walk wisely in the, the wisdom of God, but not fearful. The battle will come. The battles will come, yes. And they not only come to us, they come to every person we have led here. All this suffering are experienced by our brothers in the entire world. And that's why Pastor Nine says, resist him. Steadfast in the faith for you not to fear. You must be steadfast in faith. And what is faith? Faith is the evidence of the things not seen but hoped for. Hatujawai muona mungu lakini tunamuamini. We have never seen God but we have faith in him. And our faith in God manifests when he comes and attends to our needs after we pray. Why worry when you can pray? I was sharing with some people and I told them, once I take my burdens to the Lord, I just leave them there on the cross. It is one thing to pray and to trust God that he has taken care of that. It does not make sense that you pray and you keep on holding to that burden. That's why Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor, and I have a burden, and I'll give you rest. We must not fear, but we must be careful. We must be careful to give the Lord our burdens. And once we give him our burdens, ours is to rest in him, in his love, like little babies. My brother, my sister, are you worried? Are you fearing? Or are you just being careful? It is good to be careful, but not fearful. The enemy would like us to fear, but I want to encourage you, fear not. Because God hears our prayers. Not only does he hear, he answers us. Not only does he answer us according to what we have prayed. Sometimes he gives us far more than we ask. According to Philippians 3, 19. My God, I will supply all your needs according to your riches in glory. Yes, our God will come. Ephesians 3, 20 also say he is able to give us far more than we ask for. My brother... My sister, my colleague in ministry, after we, after we have prayed when we are serving the Lord and we are going through stuff, let us leave it at the cross. And when we leave it at the cross, it does not make sense for you to carry the burden again. In this book, I have covered that there was one Maasai. He had gone to hunt. And while he was hunting, he got an antelope. And then he was, as he was uh, walking away with the antelope for me to go and prepare at home, there was a lion that was following him. And then there happened to be 
tourists who are coming in a, in a, in a matatu, in a fan, and they, they, they could see the struggle. The lion, the lion was landing after the Maasai, but he kept on holding to the antelope. Now, when he came near to the fan and they wanted to give him the, the ride or lift back home, we call it, oh, he, he could hardly enter because he could not let go the antelope. Finally, they, uh, they figured out, hey, we are going to suffer. Let him, let him just be left. He could not let go the antelope. Don't, don't be like that Maasai. God has given you the rest. And yet you keep on holding to those grudges. You keep on holding to those burdens. Let God, let, let go and let God. You leave the burden to the Lord. Wow. Our friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our sins and griefs to bear. What a preferred to carry. Free thing to God in prayer. Ukimwachia buwana, when you leave your burden to the Lord, you are supposed to be free and enjoy the peace. If you feel like the enemy is still trying to bug you with that burden, start singing worship and say, I know God has answered me. I have prayed and God has answered me. I know the Lord has heard me. And continue worshiping the Lord in advance. You tell him, God, I want to thank you in advance because you have already answered my prayer. And that's why I managed to celebrate every moment with joy, even when things are not okay, even when there are storms in life, because I know I have the storm karma in my life in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you. You better believe. You better count him faithful who you take your burdens to, that is able to give you the rest and the joy and the peace that surpasses all human understanding. And then the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Let us be careful and not fearful. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I have given your word. Should there be any word that I have given out of what you wanted me to give, filter it, that your people will only hear that which you wanted them to hear. That the, the fruits may come for the flourishing up, O oh God, for your glory and for the encouragement of your people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. For you to rest after you have given God your burden, it will take that personal relationship, personal identification. Knowing who you are in the Lord, that you are a child of God. If you have not you have never made that decision. I do not want to add. I want to give you this privilege to take the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior so that when you give him the burden, you don't carry them anymore. If you are in that category, do you want to say this prayer after me for your transformation from a sinner to a saint, from a doubter to a person of faith? You want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. Trusting that you carried all my burdens when you died on the cross, I bring them all to you. Forgive me my sins of carrying the burdens when I give you. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come because the Bible tells us, Behold, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature, the old is gone. Now, you need to do two important things for your spiritual growth. Testimony, very important. Testifying of what God has done for you. Second, joining a fellowship of believers who preaches the word of God without diluting, without compromise from Genesis to Revelation. Because together we grow. I love you and God loves you the most. Let me know that you have trusted the Lord. Share this message with other people. Subscribe to my channel. Remember to send me your address so that I can send you this book. Uh, the, the price is $13.95. And I know God will bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to be careful and not fearful. Then you'll be able to celebrate every moment with joy as you know that the Lord is in charge. Thank you.